today we are going to be washing my hair. I am almost at six months locked and we are going to just be going through my wash day routine. When I tell you I have the simplest wash day routine, I mean I have the simplest wash day routine. I don't do too much but I am going to show y'all some of the products that I use to maintain my micro locks and to wash my micro locks that I have like gravitated towards over the last six months. It is starting to get cold so I'm sure these products may shift a little bit and I will also do like an updated video into the winter to see like what are the different types of products that I use to keep my hair hydrated in the cold time because my hair does dry out really fast and I'm always dehydrated because I don't drink enough water. So we are about to wash my hair and this is also about maybe three weeks after a retie. So if you see some new growth that is why and it's probably about time that i trim some of the ends just because like as you see like sometimes my fingers get caught and that's when you know you need to trim your hair see like this all these little straggly pieces i'll probably do a trim video soon of me trimming my ends and how i go about trimming my hair with micro locks but either way you need to trim your hair that's what keeps the health of your hair and helps it from splitting up the shaft just like when you have loose natural hair but yeah this is my hair at almost six months locked we are experiencing a little bit of budding at the ends and sometimes in the middle if you look at this lock this lock is probably like the edges my edge locks aren't that long because this is like literally my edge like my sideburns and you can see that there is like majority of this lock is interlocked so it is already locked it is only like this much that was originally braided six months ago so like my locks the longer locks as you can see like you see the difference from like this being interlocked and this being braided and you'll see that with like my longer locks you can see a little bit of bunching here which is absolutely normal but then you can see like at the ends it is also starting to like bud a little bit but it still has that curl pattern and so you know a little bit of lock up day and we love that this is just like a little texture update for six almost six months micro locked so i use the dr bronner's peppermint soap literally i use it for my body but i use it for my hair i feel like this gives me the best um cleanse for my scalp i have a hard time getting to my scalp so i also use one of these little simple syrup bottles that you can get in the baking section but this is the shampoo that i use i don't condition my locks but i do use a leave-in conditioner which i'm about to show y'all so for leave-in conditioner this is the leave-in conditioner that i use my mom put me onto this but also i use this leave-in conditioner milk i used to use this shampoo and conditioner when i was a loose natural and then i found out they had a leave-in conditioner milk and honestly I just like the way it smells. It smells so good. Like the Manuka honey, mm, it does it for me every time. But this is the main leave-in conditioner that I use. It's the Maui Moisture, the Coconut Oil Curl Smoothie. And y'all, I told y'all, when I had loose hair, my hair didn't really curl. So I just put this like um, through my hair when I'm done washing it. But like on the go, I spray it, put it on the ends to make it a little bit curly and just make sure they're not crunchy. So I also got this Maui Moisture Oil Mist. So the thing I love most about this one is that it's not super greasy because sometimes with my locks, like the grease just slips right down and sometimes gets onto my clothes, it gets onto my pillows and stuff. Or like if I'm going anywhere, I'll get on like my car seats. And so this is like a lightweight oil I like to use if I'm not gonna put like water and then like this leave-in conditioner so these two together actually work really well but this alone actually makes my hair feel super hydrated even though it is in oil but i don't really oil my hair too too much like that but um i do use this do grow oil i have another oil that i have that is not sold in stores it is actually sold by a small business that no, is no longer in operation and she had had like a huge sale before she closed down i have a video on my youtube and i'll link it in the description about that oil um and it is an ayurvedic oil with like fenugreek and all that and that really helps like with the softness of my like loose hair so sometimes i still use that i'll mix it in with like this or like the almond oil or something like that just to give my scalp a little refresh but sometimes if i don't have oil we just going with a little grease, okay? We take that grease, we just put it in between the parts, and that works. You know, do what works for you. This is what works for my hair. So let's just get into the wash day. Got our hair 
wash and I've been really trying to use like little cotton t-shirts to dry my hair because I just, they say that's better for you. So I've been trying to do it. But this is my hair, it's majority dry. The t-shirt really helps soaking up a lot of that water. Cause usually I just let my hair dry, especially if I'm just like lounging around the house. But if I have somewhere to go, I try and get out as much moisture as I can. And also my hair doesn't feel stripped. I think a lot of people have the um, misconception that using the Dr. Bronner's makes your hair feel dry. My hair still feels very healthy and moisturized. And as you can saw, I took the Dr. Bronner's all the way down the ends of my hair. And that is, this is what the ends of my hair look like after a wash before any product. And since my hair is a little bit dry from soaking out all the water, I'm gonna wet it a little bit with just my spray bottle. And y'all remember to change y'all spray bottle water. I know y'all mama told y'all that sitting water breeds bacteria. I know they did, cause my mama did. So just wetting it, not to the point where it's dripping, but to the point where it's a little damp. We're gonna go in with my Maui Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. This is what it looks like. It's a very light consistency, but it doesn't really smell like anything. It doesn't smell like coconut. It doesn't have any distinct smell, but I'm gonna take about this much. I don't measure y'all, but I know that my hair need more than a dime and we're gonna rub it together. And I just like to rake that through my hair. Now you will see me go back in, in the end and do my ends more precise because I like to have a little curl and this product definitely does help with that. If you have not used this line, I highly recommend it. So I'm using about that much. And this one is a little bit thicker and it's the Manuka Honey that helps. The Manuka Honey is an attractant. So it attracts moisture and this is what keeps your, it's a humectant. So it keeps your hair moisturized throughout the day. Another humectant is, um, I, I'm saying that word right. I can't remember the exact word, but that's the word that's coming to my mind right now. But another one is vanilla. It's also a natural humectant because it attracts moisture. And that's what really you want. You want products that attract and lock in your moisture. And so as you can see, this is what my hair pretty much looks like. You know, there is a little bit of frizz. Let me show y'all. A lot of people comment on my TikTok and ask about that as well. There is very minimal frizz for me. That is not the case for everybody else. I think that it is the case for me because I do have smaller locks and I have a very, I'm not gonna say strict, but I keep up with my maintenance routine. So I don't have a lot of frizz in my hair, which I like. Now I'm going in with my do girl. Everybody in my mama had do girl in their hair. It ain't nothing special. But I just like to put a little bit of this on my scalp. I do use oil. I know the, the natural girls cancel oil, but I like oil and I like this oil because it's lightweight. It's not too heavy. And I find that it doesn't like slide down my hair too much. And because I have braid locks, People, I don't really have to worry about as much slippage as if I started my locks with like um, twist. So that is, you know, a plus to, you know, starting your hair with braids because you have a little bit more leeway. And as you can see, I also did not wash my hair in bands. I've never washed my hair braided. I got my hair done for the first time and she braided down my hair. But other than that, I've never washed my hair braided. Uh, going to go in with my Maui Moisture Oil Mist just to give it a little shine. And I like the way it smell. I usually don't define my curls every day, but if I have somewhere to go, I'm gonna define my curls. So that's what we're doing today. So I just like to go back in with that Maui Moisture, the curl smoothie, and I put that on my ends. Now, this is what makes this different for me. I don't just put it on my ends. I go back in with the water, I don't know for me I feel like the water be activating I feel like it be giving the Maui moisture some activation so I go back in with the water to plump up the curls you know just to I don't know it ain't locking in nothing but it definitely makes my hair a lot more curly and I'll do that around like all my hair in big sections I don't do like little bitty 
tiny sections because I do have so much. Like my hair still looks like it's loose, but it is all the way, most majority all the way right down, except for like literally the ends. So I don't want anything to get like clunky and like this literally holds my hair for like a couple days. As long as you rock your hair up, this should hold your hair for a couple of days. At least have a nice defined curl, but it also depends on how active you are. I'm not really an active person, but I like to just do that and I like to just rake it through like that. Just like if you have loose hair. That is pretty much all that I do pertaining to my hair for a wash day. It is getting a little bit long, y'all. I can't wait till it like fully falls out and like can drop. This will definitely poof up throughout the day just because like I said, my hair is curly and just because you got locks, that don't mean your hair is still not 4C. So it's definitely gonna spiral back up. But let me give y'all a texture shot. As it dries, you will definitely begin to see the curls a little bit better. But this is currently what my hair looks like after wash i try not to you know overdo it with the products which is why i use very 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 lightweight products even though you saw a lot of products in here i don't moisturize my hair every single day so this lasts me about three days four days with a stretch and i wrap my hair up every night and when i'm not leaving the house i have my hair wrapped up so thank y'all so much for tuning in to this video to see how I wash my hair. If y'all like these like vlog videos, I really wanna tap into like my hair bag because that's literally what I used to do when I first started YouTube. I used to do like hair tutorials. So I really wanna get back into that because you know, micro locks are popping, my micro locks are popping and I just wanna, you know, do what I do. I really love, you know, sharing my life, sharing what things I do with my hair. So if y'all like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know any more like questions that you have about having micro locks, starting your own locks, how I maintain my micro locks and any other videos that y'all want to see pertaining to micro locks or just like any styling videos because, you know, I'm always down to try a new style. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.